those are those are the secret towers of the Himalayas. They don't know what they were for. They were filled with salt, Himalayan pink salt. Salt is an, an electromagnetic conductor. So here we have a fellow here talking about salt and oil and the manufacture of salt it was manufactured in the Aran Islands and he says that he didn't need it. So why did they manufacture? There's loads of documents of King Callahan being paid in tribute from the people of the Aran Islands. For some reason salt was important even though it wasn't essential for the diet. So here's a tower. Here's another tower, the Tower of Cashel. That was filled with salt. And then, uh, then that's connected to Psalm 61 and a life of e-longevity, look. For thou, has, for thou will prolong the life and the years of the king of many generations. So salt towers are linked to e-longevity. He shall avoid and So, shangri la. The scientist kingdom here in Tibet is shangri la. I don't know if I'm wondering. What made people live a long time in shangri la? Salt. Simple as that. You fill them towers with salt and the salt is an electromagnetic conductor, energy conductor. You won't hear it anywhere else, but if you go onto the internet, there's a bit of a cover up regarding salt. If you go onto the internet and they say, oh, you have clean, pure water, it doesn't conduct electricity, or it has salt in it, it does. But basically, another way of saying that is salt conducts electricity, not the water. So electromagnetic force fields. So basically there's two kingdoms here. And the two kingdoms are speaking of people living for a very long time. One is the first one here, Shang Mila. There is the name of this. There's hundreds of them towers all over the all over the Himalayas, yeah. Shang Mila it's called. And this fella here. The amount of somewhere that it, it says it made him it made him curious that there was so much salt production in Ireland even though they didn't need it. And the Irish soldiers were paid in salt and King Callahan was paid tribute from the Aran Islands. There's a settlement on the Aran Islands called the Seven Churches of the Eganot tribe or the Mock tribe, that's my ancestral clan. King Callahan is King David. Because here we go, look, here's a story in Psalm 61 about that's the rocket castle. That's the rock and the high tower from the Psalms, the book of Psalms. So here's Psalm 61. Here, you know, it's a story. Hear my cry, O God, attend unto my prayer from the ends of the earth that will cry unto thee. So this is King David saying he's at the ends of the earth. He's not saying he's in Jerusalem, he's in the ends of the earth. When my heart is over, when lead me to the rock that is higher than I. For thou hast been a shelter for me, a strong tower. Now the word strong is significant when you're talking about Alexander the Great. Because when Alexander the Great, Atelstan, at Callahan Atelstan, when he um, died, is alleged to have died, he, he faked his own death, I think. He said, who, he said, who do you leave your empire to? He says, the strongest. And then Ezekiel is Callahan. Or Ezekiel is Alexander. Or King Arthur. The Lord says, I made your face strong against them um, and then he said i've given you an adamant heart and flint for your forehead that's a set of horns if you look at the coins of alexander he has horns on his head so here it is i will abide in your tabernacle forever i will trust in the covert of their wings so he has wings for thou oh god has heard my vows that was giving me thy heritage for thy name the fear thy name they will prolong the king's life and his years as many generations so that's thousands of years Many generations is thousands of years. So Callahan lives for thousands of years. And so did the people in Shangri La. So it's all got to do with salt production. You have Himalayan rock salt. These towers would have been filled with Himalayan rock salt. See? Now they're checking these towers, right? And uh, they, when they were doing the archaeology on them, when they were saying that these towers, they were saying that the only. They were repaired. 50 years ago but the people in the village says they haven't done any work to them they haven't went near them so something's affecting the carbon dating carbon 14 degenerates into carbon 12 after a million years but they've never had a million years for carbon 14 to degenerate 
so how are they dating that the, the piece of wood was only put in there 50 years ago you can watch the documentary but the towers are standing there for hundreds of years they're not able to say where these the, how long these um, towers were there for the simple reason is that is the kingdom of Shani La and that's what's making people live for a long time them towers were filled with salt but they're empty now so they're all dated to around the same day when they done the, the carbon dating on them all of a sudden they stopped working on a certain time frame on a certain year on a certain scale it's the same in Ireland the, the towers are mentioned in the book of Tia Tepe the book of Tia Tepe is an ancient Irish book about a Hebrew queen that came to live in Ireland and married one of my ancestors um, she um, went to the island of the towers the towers is the oldest place eh? this island the island of the towers is Ireland and the stories of people see the reason why the English the, the Anglo-Saxons or the Norman scholars didn't take the Irish people seriously in the writings is because they were claiming to be witnesses to events that happened hundreds of years beforehand so this means that they were this is the read but there's, there's never been any cooperation of this story in um, modern teachings so the academia today is full of shit basically they're filling it full of shit they haven't got a clue so the link between there's an ancient technology that existed and it was to do with salt so basically to cover all this up they burnt down the library at alexandria it was named after Athelstan callahan and then they invaded ireland and then when patrick got here he burnt down the books that were here so they hid all the information from everybody. St. Patrick born 180 books up at the hill of Tara when he got here. So all the history that you have today is a fable. It's like Napoleon Bonaparte says, what is history but a fable agreed upon? So basically, there's an infection on this planet. It's like a big septic scab. And that infection is the cities and the, and this sort of stuff here in the background is um, taking a till upon a stone and calling it an altar to the Lord. <laughs> so if you take a till upon an altar to a stone and call it an altar to the Lord, you have polluted it. So all of this work here is pollution. So as civilization proliferated in the Middle East, people started to die younger. The first people lived for a thousand years. In the Bible, the generations of Adam. Adam lived for nearly a thousand years. Then as cities proliferated, it went down to 800 years, 900 years, 800 years, 700 years. The more cities increased, the more people died younger. So eventually, till you get to now, where you're cursed, where you're cursed. The Bible says you were cursed, where you're cursed. You will die as an infant at 100 years. How do I get it? There is your course where course no longer will adults die before they have lived a full life. They die younger yeah, will die as an infant that one hundred years. So basically to die they've convinced you that dying is a part, is a natural part of human existence. It's not. It only came about when the it only came about when the power of death came into the world. So in the Bible you don't be you don't get classed as death, you get classed as worn out. So that's why you shiver up and get old, because you have parasitic entities. These parasitic entities are very old. They're thousands of years old. And they use us well basically they they we like hosts to them. And in how they operate is idolatry. Idolatry is what kills us and pagan temples. Salt, however, has an effect on a because salt is a crystal. Crystal is a grey stuff for um, conducting electricity. So what does it say here about salt and electricity? Any impurities like salt in the water enable it to conduct electricity. When salt is dissolved in water, they separate the different electrical charges and atoms and ions. Salt is a sodium chloride, breaks up into a positive, see it's positive Na ions and negative Cu ions. 
So basically, the ancient technology they were using to keep themselves alive was got to be doing with towers and um, towers and salt.